Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for still being here. So today we are in my bedroom and you can see it's kind of a mess. I've got these shelves here. Ooh, see if I can show you the top. And I've moved a lot of my plants off of these shelves to make room for my reptiles. So reptiles down here as well. And a lot of my plants in here have just not been doing great. I did finally get some new lights and stuff, but I want to go through and just clean up these shelves, take some of these plants out of here, maybe rearrange some other plants that I have in other places, and then I'm just gonna show you what it's looking like. So same thing we did on the white shelves. You guys seem to really enjoy watching the process of me going through everything. So one by one, I'm gonna take all these plants down. For the most part, I might leave some of like the ones all the way up here where they are, like the big pothos usually stays where it is. I'm going to be propagating it soon, but um, for now it's just going to stay where it is. But for the most part, we're going to be taking down all of these plants one by one, deciding on whether or not I'm going to keep them. And then we're going to put them all back and make them look pretty. I've got lots of crystals and stuff that I will probably be rearranging as well. I'm pretty satisfied with the way that a lot of them look. And then I'm going to turn you guys around and show you everything that's going on on these shelves. And then maybe we'll do the shelves out there. Or maybe we'll just do a whole tour of everything all together in one video. And I'll just keep this one as like the rearranging one. And then I'll do another one that's like a full on tour of everything that is basically down here and not in the loft where most of my like expensive rare stuff is so let's let's get into it okay you guys so there's some construction going on in the one of the apartments underneath me sort of so if you hear noise going on, that sounds like construction. That would be the construction. Okay, so to start, basically down here, I have my geckos on each side here. I just gave them a new light from Sansi each um, to help the plants in here not die because they were dying. A lot of the ones in Norman's enclosure over here died. If you guys missed that video and you want to check it out and see how I've gone about making or starting to make my enclosures bioactive, I do need to do a part two and kind of like finish the project. I will leave that linked up here for you if you haven't seen it yet, if you're interested in seeing my geckos as well, because I'm pretty sure Daisy is hiding. Uh, I don't know if she's out a little bit. Maybe she'll stay out or <laughs> I might scare her into hiding before I can turn you guys around. Um, they're still getting used to the lights. They are not used to having so much light during the day, so I think they might be a little bit confused. But then in between my two geckos, I have my Brazilian rainbow boa, Silas. He is a cutie. I can try and get a peek of him. Once all is said and done as well, he's probably still looking kind of weird because he's in shed. I haven't checked on him in a couple of days though, so I definitely need to do that. In here, I have another boa. Her name is Eden. And then up here, we have Willow, my blood boa. So that is all the reptiles that I have in my bedroom. And now let's do the plants. So let's start over here. I have this Hoya. Uh, Clementiorum and obviously I'm gonna keep this one I'm probably not gonna keep it in here on these shelves but I do need to keep it on the edge of something because it's very hard to find something to to put a leaf like this on so I, I found this actually in like a thrift shop I don't know I thought it was cool and it works really well for this. So 
the lip on here just catches it just right so that it gives it a little bit more height so obviously i'm keeping this this is one of my favorite hoya and i'm just gonna move it okay and then i will be keeping this pain in the butt of a plant this is my variegated peace lily the domino peace lily from costa farms she's beautiful absolutely love her she's just super thirsty so i'm constantly losing leaves even though i give her water like every few days so she's you know she's still in her terrible mix from costa farm so we're definitely gonna need to like repot her but i've got some cute little crystals on her and like inside the pot and like different stones and stuff a little chunk of quartz hiding in here uh just for funsies <laughs> i like to put them in there so i am going to be keeping this one as well obviously i'm going to leave my decor where it is i just have like a frame here with a cute little card that somebody sent me in it it's my it's a snake frame with cute little butterfly print in it because I don't really have anything else to put in it and I really like this print. So I feel like it works for now at least. So that is going to stay where it is because it kind of helps cover the thermostats for the snakes. Okay, so on this side we have one of the reasons why I'm not going to buy Maranta anymore. I just can't keep up. I'm going to move this one to a self-watering. It still has one a live part right here I don't know about the rest to be completely honest with you it's pretty bad I just I always forget to water it I really do I love this pot this was the silver band <laughs> and like I'm gonna keep it but I'm just gonna keep this piece that is still alive and put it into maybe like some sort of self-watering situation so that one's not going to be going back on the shelves the next one is this hoya that i can't remember the name of but i got it from jax's jungle and it's just sitting on the shelf and i would actually really prefer putting it in my cabinet so i'm gonna put it in my cabinet i'll show you guys a quick glimpse at my cabinet before we're done with this video as well so you can see where i put it Okay, and then next is another one I can't keep up. Oop, I knocked over a crystal. Another one I can't keep up with watering is this uh, Calathea. So I probably won't be keeping it because it looks really bad. It's just not a happy camper. So I'm probably just going to get rid of it. There's not much on here that's like salvageable, but I do really like this pot. So I'm just gonna dump it out and reuse this pot. I put stickers on my pots sometimes. I like mushrooms, so that's a thing. But I do really like this matte black with like the more textured bottom. Really cute pot, but plant, not so much. And this is my fault. I neglected it. It's not the plant's fault. I'm sorry, plant, I really do apologize for, for for letting this happen I feel bad I'm pretty sure this potato plant is not alive anymore either I genuinely don't know maybe I should throw it in like a prop box but this vine definitely died so let me know in the comments below should I throw this in a prop box like, what should I do with this? I don't know what to do with this. All right, next I have this Aglionema that I'm definitely going to be keeping. She just needs a little bit of love. She needs to be cleaned up. She definitely needs to be repotted. I haven't repotted her since the day that I got her. And, like, maybe potted a little bit deeper so that she doesn't look so wonky and ridiculous. So I'm definitely going to be keeping her, but I definitely need to at least clean her up a little bit before I put her back on the shelves. Another sad Maranta. This was my variegated one. That was really pretty for, like, five minutes before I neglected it to death. So no, maybe no more Maranta. 
Or maybe we, we try self-watering pots again. Maybe. So that's unfortunate, but again, I do like this pot. So obviously we're gonna reuse this. One of my personal favorites is my one of my Ripsalis in this skull planter. You guys repotted this with me a while back and I haven't killed this one because it's a Ripsalis. So she's doing all right, or he. Still looking pretty badass, so obviously I'm gonna keep him. And I, I do actually like where I have him and this plant seems to be doing all right there. So um, I'm gonna put it back there. But it definitely needs to be like rinsed off. All right, next on this shelf is my, one of my at least, Ripsalis Paradoxa. And this is a newer pot that I've gotten and I think it's really cute. She's just in a little pot here, but grows really nicely for me in here and I'm not mad about it. And I got an even larger one, let me show you. In case you guys missed it from McNaughton's in New Jersey. So I am gonna like pot these together. Part of me just kind of doesn't want to because I've been growing this one since it was a little baby, but there's really, there's no point in having two, right? So it makes more sense to pot them together. So Ripsalis Paradoxa. I had to get this one, obviously. It was only $16.98 for this hanging basket. So I do have two and I am gonna leave this one in here for now just because I do think it looks cute trailing off the shelves, but I haven't decided. Clearly, I haven't repotted it yet because I don't know <laughs> what I wanna do. So either way, it's a no brainer. Obviously, I'm gonna be keeping these plants because I love them. All right, so the next plant I'm gonna be keeping but moving is this Hoya obovada um, inner variegated with splash. So she's been in the two leaf club for a while and definitely needs to go in the cabinet. So obviously I'm going to be throwing out this ficus benjamina. This was the El Dorado. It was kind of like a marbly variegated. I don't know if you can tell. Not really. It was pretty. Um, but realistically, kind of a pain in the butt, so I don't even know why I've had it this long. But I do also love this pot. I think this one is from, uh, what's it from? World Market. I'm pretty sure, if not Michael's. I think it's World Market. Or isn't Ashland Michael's? I'm not sure, but... Either way, I have a couple of these in this size and smaller, and I do really like them, so I'm gonna keep them. I also have this like pedestal kind of, I think it's for a candle, but I like them for plants too. Just kind of like elevate some of your plants that are maybe behind some of the other smaller plants. So I did have a plant on top of it right back in here. The dead Miranda was on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this aside because I don't know if I'm gonna be needing it or not. It's basically just acting as a riser for the plant. So I'm going to lift you guys up so you can see the next couple of shelves. Okay fam, so before we get into the rest of the video, I had to show you the most beautiful gift that I received in the mail from a company called Teddy Blake. So this company makes beautiful, genuine leather handbags made in Italy, New York based company. And when they reached out to me and they wanted to send me a bag, I was like, girl, let me let me see. The website totally checked out. Everything is made in Italy. Really great quality, really great reviews. But if you guys know me, <laughs> then you know that I'm more of like a mini backpack, small bag kind of girly. I like to keep it clean. I like to keep it simple. I'm not 
super duper feminine I do just like comfort and keeping things easy so I wasn't able to find anything on the website that really suited my needs and was available for me to snag but my mom was actually able to find a bag that she really really loves and I'm very excited to finally be able to give it to her so let me get it out of here and show you guys what it looks like so this is the Julia bag in this really nice blue color and let me tell you the first thing I noticed about this was how soft the leather is I didn't know if I was gonna like the structure of this bag but it is so soft you guys that I definitely see this breaking in and just being absolutely stunning tons of room it does come with a strap they have so much variety and so many colors this is so cute and let me tell you I have an obsession with like collecting handbags that I will never use because look at how cute it is it is so cute so I'm very excited to finally be able to give this to my mom I showed her pictures she is obsessed she is so excited to finally be able to receive this I've been hanging on to it for a little while because I had to show you guys before I gave it to her and things have been a little bit hectic around here you already know so definitely go and check out Teddy Blig you guys they're having a huge semi-annual sale right now like I said New York based company everything is made in Italy with genuine leather you're getting luxury handbag without the luxury handbag prices so if you're a handbag girly it's almost Valentine's Day. Treat yourself, treat your partner. Thank you so much to Teddy Blake for making my mom so very happy and for giving me this opportunity to gift this to her. I think she's absolutely gonna love this. So definitely do not miss out on the semi-annual sale, you guys. This bag is absolutely gorgeous so well made they've got tons of variety different sizes different colors of bag on the website definitely don't be afraid to go and check it out maybe send the link over to your significant other and just be like hey so this is cute right <laughs> Anyway, you guys, Teddy Blake, thank you again so much for sending us this bag and for allowing me this opportunity to make my mom really happy. We definitely appreciate it. Now let's get back into the rest of the video. Okay, I think you can sort of kind of see, I'll have to raise you up even just a little bit more. I'm really not gonna be moving much that's on like the very, very top shelves anyway but next i always forget that this is under there <laughs> then it falls i have this aglionema chocolate and i am going to be keeping this this is one of my favorite plants one of my favorite aglionema it's a really beautiful one it probably just needs to be wiped down a little bit i had mealybugs on this one and they get kind of caught trapped in between like the catafil and the petiole here and it can be really frustrating so i'll probably give this one a quick rinse as well before putting it back up there but obviously i'm keeping it this is another pot from world market that i absolutely love so if you have a world market near you 10 out of 10 recommend checking it out for their pots sometimes they go on sale too great deals Okay, this next one is really sad because I try, I really tried with this plant. I really, really did. It's the Apobolus. <laughs> Doesn't look like I tried. Acuminatissima. I swear I tried. I really, really did. Um, it does have like a little sliver of green on on here. So I might take just that one out. I really just want to throw it out and put it like in water or something, but it's another one that's just really thirsty. It's really pretty, but it's really thirsty and I just don't have time. I don't have time for the thirsty ones anymore. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I just, I cannot keep up with them. If they need to be watered more than once a week, it's very, very hard to even water everything I have once a week. And this is one of the reasons why I need to downsize, especially before we move, because like, this ain't it. This ain't it. Let me know in the comments below if you would keep this 
and try to rescue it or trash it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> All right, so up here I have my little variegated, Oh, not really, because I haven't watered this either. <laughs> I thought there was more plant there. String of hearts. Well, that's sad now, isn't it? I don't really have the heart to get rid of this, so I might just leave it as it is for right now and decide later. I really thought that this was doing well. It's got new growth. It just up here is completely bare. <laughs> Despite me like wrapping and pinning everything like a few months back, but that's fine. It does have new growth from down here, so she looks cute when you can't tell. This is so bad. This is really bad. But I am going to keep it for now, at least. And see how it does in the next few months before we leave. Oh, it's snowing. Look at that. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So, what is next? These dead cuttings, they look dead anyway. That I forgot were there of Manjula. One of them looks like they're still trying to grow. Over here, oh, a couple of them. A couple of them are still growing. Um, I'll salvage what I can of this. A couple of little cuttings and maybe throw them in the gecko enclosures. All right, so this one, <laughs> Also has all of my snakes sheds on it because I don't know where to put them. So I like to save them if I can, especially Silas, because look at him. He was this skinny little noodle and then he was this skinny little noodle and then he was this noodle and this one was willows. You can see she has more like brown on her scales, but I love it. Look at his first shed with me was this tiny little noodle and then he grew to this thick noodle and he's about to shed for the fourth time since I've had him and we got him in I don't know June maybe of last year I'll have to I'd have to look back so oh and this is a Hoya I think this is the Nang Nooch yeah Hoya Nang Nooch I imported this a few years ago it does this thing where it just puts out a bunch of peduncles right here. Not that it's focusing. A bunch of peduncles right here, and then it's just got this long tendril that it put out, but it hasn't put any leaves out on it. It looks like it wants to. I keep fertilizing it and watering it and taking care of it. And it's done well for an import, that's for sure, but just hasn't grown anything. So, Hoya Nang Nooch. Love this one. And I'm just going to put it right back where it was, honestly, because I don't want to mess up these sheds. They get pretty dry and fragile over time. So I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet. Maybe like a book and like press them into like a book. Like I'm not, I'm really not exactly sure. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, and then back here I have just a regular Hoya Carnosa. I just was cleaning mealybugs off of this one yesterday, so you might see some stragglers trying to survive. But I just really enjoy this regular degular Carnosa. It had to put out this new vine for me. It's a little bit splashy and cute, and she is working on like more leaves here you just really can't go wrong with a carnosa and this one does have a peduncle somewhere up in here that I just for whatever reason can't find right now but it does bloom for me a couple of times a year and carnosa blooms are just really pretty they're really simple but they're really pretty and I like it this is from my friend Liz when she moved. She didn't want to take all of her regular, regular 
Hoya or like duplicate Hoyas with her. So I took a couple and this is, I think the only one that I kept, no, I kept this and a Cuba Calyx for myself because I didn't actually have a regular Carnosa, at least not this size, or a Cuba Calyx, at least not that size. So both are doing really well. The Cuba Calyx hangs in the window right here because they can definitely handle that bright light. And this one I think does well where it is. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it for now and, and figure out where I want to put her. I might put her back exactly where she was though. And then the other Hoya, let me get my little, <laughs> my little step stool. You guys, I got this off of Temu and it has been such a great, uh, purchase on my end because this really helps me that little extra step nice and sturdy to get up here. Okay, so the next Hoya that I have up here is this Hoya de Santa. De Santhia, de Santa. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a really cute one. I'm a big fan. I've grown this one out since it was a little baby. Just had a couple of leaves. And um, she got a little woody here, but she did put out all this new growth for me last year so i'm hoping that this year this year <laughs> this year she's going to give me lots more growth because these can get pretty big and the leaves get really veiny and splashy and beautiful i mean look at it isn't that gorge i love it so i am going to be keeping this one and obviously i really like this pot i might swap move pots around i'm keeping like a little pile on the floor here as i go but for the most part everything in the bedroom are kind of like all of my favorite pots so i am going to be keeping like all of them all right the next thing over here is this peperomia incana and this one i'm obviously keeping because it's been around for so long um this one is David's, or at least a piece of David's original plant. I have the base of it right here. So when David and I first started hanging out, I kind of got him into house plants and he gravitated towards Peperomia and he bought himself this Peperomia in Kana all those years ago and he propagated me a piece from it and it was the first time he had ever propagated anything and i've just had this plant this is the piece that he propagated and this is the original plant that i've propagated like a whole bunch needs to be chopped again since then obviously i've got a piece of this in kana in almost every single enclosure there's a piece in every snake enclosure i haven't put any in the gecko enclosures yet um, because I just don't have any cuttings, but I'm just taking so many cuttings of this constantly. I share them with friends, family, you guys, and my reptiles. So this is a really great peperomia, and we will definitely be keeping it. I'm going to propagate it to encourage growth from, you know, down here. <laughs> Clearly, I left too much stem, and it's just like, ah, I'm going to grow from the top <laughs> instead of, like, hoping, I was hoping it would grow it is kind of popping off from like every node now that I look at it. I probably just need to like water it more, but it's been potted in here with no drainage for I don't even know how long and it does fine. So I love this kitty pot. It's been in this, this plant has been in this kitty pot since it was just a little cutting. So like it's kind of a sentimental thing. It was just really a sweet thing and I don't know, it's just, they're they're together like this plant and this pot are together until they can no longer be together it's just a thing so obviously we're keeping these this one just needs to be propagated before i try to move with it like this looks silly okay so then up here on top of willow we do have like just a little piece of wood and i try not to put anything too heavy on top so with that said I don't actually know if I'm gonna be keeping this Monstera I have to see if I can get it to look good it just gets neglected up here to be honest 
it's everything in here has been neglected so it's pretty it just it grows really straggly it's not great as a trailing plant I'm thinking I might just chop it back get rid of all these straggly pieces and just keep it because she is cute she's just not my favorite I might keep her just like for now um, just because I do have the space for it right now I don't know what else I would even put here because this thing it looks sad do you see this yellow leaf that's just been hanging here from this Tycon this poor Tycon <laughs> she's like desperate for water um, she definitely just needs to be like pruned this was her original propagation leaf and then these are the newer ones or at least new one so I need to I need to get her sorted out for sure fungus gnats coming up out of the soil but this is like one of the tycons from before they were in tissue culture so I want to not kill it not that it matters, I just like the idea of having one that was grown before that. So from my friend Liz, this one is from a cutting, so it does need to be repotted. And it is the Hoya D's big one. No joke, that is what it's called. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just like a really simple, beautiful green leaf Hoya, but um, I've been growing it up there and it needs a good soak. This moss needs a good soak. It's got good roots. So I should probably repot it. I just don't really want to right now. So eventually we'll repot it. Maybe we'll do it together. Also have a ficus shiv up here. My original, she looks like she's got a couple of mealy, so I'm gonna have to rinse her off too. But she's finally like really pushing out a lot of growth. She struggled for a while and she lost quite a bit of leaves from here. So I probably need to repot her. She's been in this medium for way too long, but this is one of my favorite pots. It says, please don't die. Um, and I'm into it, so. Yeah, I am going to keep her and I'll probably keep her where she is up there just because she's closer to the window. And she's coming in with some pretty decent variegation, so I don't want to mess that up by moving her too far away from the west facing windows. I, can, I tend to keep most of my ficus directly in west facing windows if they can handle it. I have Hoya. Archibaldiana, who I'll probably put in a different pot that doesn't have like a drainage. I do like this pot and like the color of it, but I'll probably swap it out for a different pot. And then I have this Hoya Lois Andrusiana that definitely needs water like ace up. She's getting kind of wrinkly, crinkly, wrinkly. And oh, she's got cat hair and shit all over her too and um are those just like cobwebs <laughs> i'll probably put this in a different pot too that doesn't have any kind of drainage but i do love this pot i think these are from like tj maxx yeah 5.99 another hoya that needs to be watered for sure and probably put into a different pot too it's the kaga yanensis some mealy bugs on it. I need to clean it up. And um, she's got a bloom on her somewhere too. I just don't know where. Ooh, she's got a lot of mealy bugs. That's nasty. So then the only thing left, you guys, up there is this sad Hoya that I can never seem to keep happy. So I'm going to have to rehab it. I'm going to take it like off this trellis and repot it maybe or put it into moss maybe and like put it in a prop box or like put it in a cabinet or something because it's just not doing well this is the acuta outer variegated i had the inner variegated on here but it died that would be those dead leaves there <laughs> so i'm leaving my neon pothos where it is because i like it where it is i am gonna be just like chopping her though you can see she's also been neglected so I'm going to be giving her like just a big chop 
Um, we're going to do that together. Actually, um, probably on live over on Plant Story. I'm going to be going live on Sunday. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see that. I am also just like leaving all my crystals here because I just recently organized all of my <laughs> purple ones here, even though I'm missing my citrine. Where'd my citrine go? That was right here. Did it fall? And I just didn't see it. Oh no, I moved it. I put it over here. Okay, never mind. So I have more over here as well, but um, I have this cute little Hoya. This is the Hoya Spring Hill, and I am just going to leave her here because she's in this cute little pot, and she looks like she's wanting to, like, maybe grow or something. Ooh, crazy roots. But I have another cutting of this somewhere that I'll probably pot up together eventually. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, the Shidia Ovada, but I'm just going to leave it here for now because it is what it is. I have a whole nother one in the window right here so I don't really need it it's also snowing so this Hoya is staying right here this one doesn't need to stay here neither does this empty water vessel but I do have a couple of little crystals these shells realistically should be wiped down but I'm being really lazy about it because I don't want to move <laughs> all of the crystals we do need to do the top of the cabinet next um, so yeah, I do have one of my variegated little like cacti dudes over here in my coffin planter. Some of my favorite crystals are over here. I'm going to be rearranging. I can see if we can see Norman. Hey, Normie. What you doing, buddy? So he's chilling. Misty, I think maybe they're basking. I think they like their new lights. Do you like your new lights? Look at how cute she is. She is definitely not sleeping. So, I don't really know. But her plants have survived better than Norman's have, clearly. Because I thought ferns <laughs> and syngonium that weren't really well-rooted were going to work. But clearly, they're not working. So, I mean, that one is kind of... Mr. Silas is hiding in here. I kind of don't want to bother him. He's probably under his water dish. Miss Eden. Hello, Miss Eden. How are you? She's like, do you have food? No. I have a little air plant in here. A little rose quartz. Need to do her water. Need to do all the water. Miss Willow has been very hungry, ready to eat every time I come in here. They're usually just chilling during the day though. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> so she's got some cute plants in here as well. I need to clean out their water dishes. Her plants don't get as much light, so they struggle a little bit more. His plants definitely don't get light, but they will get some from Norman's light. I do need to like just put more bushy plants here so that they can't see each other. So I need to put more bushy plants in here so that they can't see each other. <laughs> you like that light, girl? You supposed to be sleeping. So here's where we're starting. I'm gonna put everything back and then I'll show you where we end up.
Okay, fam. So, I think I'm done for now. I don't, like, actually have that many plants to eat. I need, like, a plant to put in here. Um, there's nothing really over here. So, I don't want more plants, but I'm thinking over time, maybe I'll start moving some plants into this space. So, give me, like, a week or two to finish, like, really decorating and then I will give you guys like a proper tour of everything that I have going on on these shelves. I gotta redo the top of the cabinet. We recently did the inside of the cabinet together and you guys really enjoyed that. So I have just little by little been doing pretty much every area of my apartment and going through and purging and cleaning even though I didn't really do a ton of cleaning today. These shelves aren't all that dirty. There's just like some dead leaves that I was cleaning up along the way. And um, that's it. I'm going to turn you around and show you what we got so far. And then stay tuned for a proper full-on tour of everything. All right, fam. So, oh my gosh, Daisy, what are you doing? Girl, it's bedtime. Go sleepy. Sleepy, sleep. Good night. Um, so this is what I'm looking like. I put my piece Lily back in the same spot that I had her because she is pretty happy under this grow light and I don't want to like risk moving her really. And she does provide good shade for Miss Eden here so that she doesn't have bright light in her face. I also thought my Paradoxa looked kind of cute right here, but I might move it up a shelf because my cat, um, he likes to nibble and he can definitely reach right here. I have a couple of cute little crystals and stuff going on here. <laughs> Daisy. And then up over here on this side, I put this really sad Peru. We'll see if she perks up. I don't know. She's going to, I, like I said, I'm not going to buy more plants to fit here since we are moving in a few months. So we're just going to leave her here for now and hope that she perks up and doesn't look terrible. We moved Archibald over here as well. And then I have a bunch of my flower agate hanging out right here and whatever this is that I don't remember the name of but I think that the the pink and that nice green look really really good together this one has a little bit of green in there as well super cute love my little skeleton bat forgot what we named him but I did name him at some point some more of my favorite crystals here, my dream amethyst, my rose quartz. I put my aglionema back over here until we get around to repotting her, making her look a little better. That pot is not it either. I moved this Hoya up here because I thought she looked kind of cute trailing a little bit. My tie I, I kept over here because I don't know where else to put her. She <laughs> just looks really silly. This big empty space here, but you know it is what it is i kept my aglaonema chocolate over here near the grow light although i probably should move her i feel like she gets too much light here i didn't put anything up near my neon because i just don't really have anything i put this pot here because eventually i'll probably put something in it i am going to be probably changing stuff around oh and i put that hoya in here that I couldn't remember the name of. Everything in here is doing really well in case anybody was wondering, but we need to clear this off next. That's my next project, but we got today's project done at least. I mean, some of the dead plants are gone, so it looks better, but otherwise, you know, it's pretty much looking the same. Got a lot of hanging baskets in the window. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, that is really it for what's going on in the bedroom. Right, girls? So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. 
If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated, you guys know I cannot do this without you. Leave me some purple heart emojis in the comments if you watch this whole entire video because obviously purple is my favorite. Duh, these are like all my faves up here. I mean, over here too. The stream amethyst. Anyway, can you tell that I really like crystals right now? I have a box of them that I need to go open. I will also leave all the information you guys need to check out Teddy Blake down below. Do not miss the semi-annual sale, you guys. My mom loves this bag. It is so gorgeous, great quality, and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. It's almost Valentine's Day, so treat yourself or your partner maybe to a new genuine leather bag made in Italy. So thank you again to Teddy Blake for sending me that gorgeous, gorgeous bag and making my mom really happy. We appreciate it. And that is it, you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.